Virginia NAACP is calling for transparency in the governor's process for restoring felons voting rights. Today, the group penned a list of demands in response to new policies by Glenn Youngkin's administration. Eugene Daniels shares the proposals and why they say clarity is so important. The Virginia NAACP is demanding transparency from Governor Glenn Youngkin. They are calling for answers after Youngkin rescinded a policy that essentially restored voting rights for nonviolent felons automatically. Whether a Virginia citizen has their voting rights restored cannot depend on the governor's whim. The governor now makes decisions on a case-by-case -case basis. But Robert Barnett, president of the Commonwealth's chapter of the NAACP, says the process is too slow and thousands of applicants are now at risk of missing out on upcoming elections. The group also believes Yunkin's criteria for accepting or denying requests are not clear and could lead to discrimination. Among several proposals Tuesday, they're asking the governor for a list of factors considered for each appeal, reasons why someone is denied, and a timeline for when applications will be reviewed. By state law, anyone convicted of a felony loses their civil rights, but the governor has the sole power to restore those rights. 13 News now obtained a letter written Monday by the Virginia Secretary of the Commonwealth, K.C. James. In it, she challenged some of the civil rights group's claims and says, quote, we take our responsibility to consider re-enfranchisement seriously. She said Governor Yuckin will be less likely to quickly restore voting rights to someone who used a firearm for a crime, and generally speaking, he will work to restore rights to nonviolent offenders. In Norfolk, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now. James also says the administration hired more staff to make the process more efficient and transparent, and all applications on or before April 30th have been acted on.